What's up, bro? Back to this dude, T.I., man. It's not a good look, bro. It's really not a good look for you, bro. TV show, dog. quit while you're ahead, bro. Just don't seem like yourself. It just don't seem like it, you being you. I, I know this, all of this reality shit is scripted and all, but it's a bad look for you, bro. I give it up. You're not, you know, Kim Kardashian and all of these little acting chicks, too, you dig? It's like you hip-hop Bill Cosby, like you trying to hold yourself in. It don't seem like you comfortable in your own skin in the, you know, in the little episodes. You did just see, like, everything you do looks scripted. If you're going to be reading the script, at least try to act with it, bro, because I ain't feeling it, bro. How you portraying your kids, bro? Little Major, he, he, he going to be the star of the show, probably. I bet everybody probably like him, the shit he be talking about. This dude straight out of the beer in front of him. I, I would have stopped him right there in his track. Nigga, you, you want a beer first? What? That's why you check your kid at first. But this America, they don't, you know how y'all believe. Now, even black people don't even beat their kids barely no more. Shit. I mean, Cali, they got the most rudest fucking kids on the planet out here. Curse in front of your grandma if they want to. But back to this dude, Major, bro. A little dude, first ain't know he was black. You know, I told y'all about that on the last one. Dude ain't know he was black. Then he said, well, can I have a white woman? And T.I. said, yeah. You know, I know how y'all is now, America. Y'all think the president, you know, he changed stuff. And T.I. told him, yeah, you can have a white woman, you know, because the president black and all of this unified shit, yet you never saw Obama. I never saw him in the inner city of but that's a whole nother video. Never see him in the inner city. When, but I saw him out there in Wisconsin and Connecticut drinking a beer. But he still ain't stopping the hood. But whatever you did. Let me get back to this dude. Did y'all see how T.I. damn near pissed on himself? Because Taylor Swift invited him to, you know, come do the little show with her. Oh, my God. He, the dude. I'm going to quote T.I. Dude said it feels like I'm 18 again. God damn. The little white girl, you know, she just dropped. Nigga, you been out before her. Why is you so amazed? And the name of the whole episode is America's Sweetheart. You know, I, I just don't get that. He was so amazed. He kept saying, I'm honored. I'm, I'm gracious. I, I love you. I'll kiss your boot. I'll lick between your toes. God damn. Is Taylor Swift fucking Whitney Houston? You know but I know y'all don't, don't fuck with Whitney Houston no more. Y'all ready to throw her under the rug. But whatever you did, you know how they rock. And it's all about him saying, shit, I go because my street cred gonna be on the line. But then I got Hollywood and that's where the big money at. You know what they mean when they say Hollywood. That means big money, universal money. Or do we fuck with the street cred? You know, the, the people in the hood, the people who... Gave him the money who put him in a position to get where he is, you know. And in the end, you know what he does. He wind up doing a show. So in the end, you will say, T.I. went Hollywood. But before I just end it like that, you did. Oh, man, this dude, Nelly. Backstage at the, oh, uh, Coonan. That's what they was doing, bro. Coonan. Backstage. They got cologne back here? Oh, they gave the nigga some chicken and white beer? You see how Nelly was, bro? Did y'all see that, dog? Like, am I the only one who get offended by this shit? Like, am I the only one seeing this? And him and Nelly, oh, he said, oh, you ain't got to steal it. They giving it away. You know, oh, they got. This way different than the hip-hop one because the hip-hop one, I guess how y'all do it, the millionaires, T.I. and them, y'all ain't got it unified yet to where y'all backstage look just like theirs yet? All these multi-millionaire rappers? None of y'all ain't making sure that all of y'all straight trying to get some legislation through there? Like how they get theirs done? Tim McGraw and all of them, I bet you they backstage, you know, but you up there impressed. Oh, right damn, they got some chicken back here with black people? And he really said that. He said, it's chicken back here? Fuck, I, they wide as well had gave him some watermelon, huh? Throw, that, throw Nelly a watermelon at you. Oh my God, bro. And the OMG girls. Oh, just just stop. Hey, don't they look like baby Nicki Minaj or them fucking Brad's dolls? What the fuck they And look what they talking about. You know it. Gucci and all that bullshit. Once again, they training your little girl and them watching that shit. 
Let's get Gucci and pink hair and shit. Hair that, come on, man. Little black girl, you is a queen. You, you trying to get these blonde hair and all of this bullshit. Y'all is queens, man. You telling me black women can't do nothing else with their hair? The women who created finger waves and all kind of shit, you let them demonize finger waves so bad. Shit, I, I think a woman will get shot if she wore finger nails with outside. You let them demonize that and call that ghetto. And you walk around calling everybody ghetto. Just chasing something else, bro. I swear, but these TV shows, bro, they just seeking niggas further and further. And I say niggas, I mean niggas. Ignorant motherfuckers. Not black people, nigga. I'm black. African. <laughs> when I say niggas, I mean niggas. The ones who chasing Gucci and all this bullshit and believing these people on TV, bro. They seeking you further. That's that's all that is, you dig. And this one more serious than the other video, but look, you tell it like this once again. Holler at me later, dog.